This is a sleep hypnosis session to help you fall asleep quickly and to deeply relax while you are sleeping so that you can wake up refreshed, relaxed, and rejuvenated. To get the most out of this session, listen to it with headphones on in a place where you won't be disturbed. And we'll begin now by closing your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And slowly let it out. Take another deep breath in and slowly let it out. Now you're going to begin by relaxing your body. You're going to begin with your toes. Bring your attention down to your toes and imagine your toes relaxing. Even if you can't feel them relaxing, you can just imagine them relaxing completely and totally. And then you can feel that relaxation begin to move down into your feet. Feel it moving into the bottom and the top of your feet, completely and totally relaxing those muscles. And you can feel that warmth, like a warm molasses, just moving over your feet into your muscles, relax every nerve and cell and fiber of your being. As you feel that relaxation begin to move through your ankles, Slowly beginning to move into your calves, relaxing the calf muscles. Feel moving through the knees, relaxing the knees, the muscles, the tendons, everything warming up and relaxing. Letting go of any tension at all that you may find. And then feel it continue to move up into your thighs, relaxing the thigh muscles. Feel it moving through the waist. Moving up into your stomach, relaxing the stomach muscles. Completely and totally relaxing those muscles in your stomach, letting any tension at all just fall away. Feeling your body become heavier and heavier. Just letting go and relaxing. And feel that relaxation move up into your chest, relaxing the chest muscles. Allowing your chest to open and expand, the muscles to relax. Feel that relaxation moving deep into your lungs and your heart. And begin to feel it move up into your shoulders, relaxing the shoulder muscles. It's completely relaxing those muscles. And feel that relaxation move down into your arms. Relaxing the arms, feel it moving past the elbows into the forearms, past the wrists into the hands. Completely and totally relax the hands. Feel it moving down into the fingers. Bouncing off the fingertips back into your hands. Past your wrists into your forearms. Past your forearms. Up into your upper arms. Moving back in your shoulders. Doubling the relaxation. Allow those muscles to completely and totally just let go. Let any tension just fall away. As you allow those muscles to become heavier and heavier, more and more relaxed. Feel that relaxation moving up into your neck, relaxing all the muscles of the neck. Just let me become soft and pliable. As you feel that relaxation move up into your ears, down into your jaw, relaxing the jaw muscles. Let the jaw muscles completely and totally relax. And feel that relaxation move up over your lips, up into your nose, so with each and every breath you take, you begin to relax a little bit deeper than before. And feel this relaxation move up into your eyes and your eyelids, allowing all the muscles of your eyes to just relax. It's what they deserve for working so hard, looking out for you, and you can just relax them completely and totally. And feel that relaxation moving up in your eyebrow muscles, relaxing the eyebrow muscles. Feel moving up into your forehead, down over your face so that all the muscles of your face just relax completely and totally. Just completely let the muscles of the face relax. And feel that relaxation move over the top of your head and down the back of your head, all the way down the back of your neck. Moving into your shoulders, relaxing the shoulder muscles. Feel that relaxation begin to move down your spine, 
one vertebrae at a time. And as it moves down your spine, feel all the muscles in your back just relaxing and letting go. So that your back just completely and totally relaxes. Any tension just falls away. And you can feel yourself feeling heavier and heavier the more you relax. Just letting go of the day, letting go of any tension as that relaxation moves all the way to the base of your spine and continues to move along past the back of your legs all the way down to your feet and your toes. And you can notice how much more relaxed you feel just by bringing your awareness into your body and step by step just relaxing your body allowing your breathing to become slower, fuller, more rhythmic. And bring your attention back to your toes and imagine your toes relaxing twice as much as they were before. Feel that relaxation moving into your feet, the bottom of your feet, the top of your feet. Just letting go of any tension as you feel the relaxation move through your body, through your ankles, Moving into your calves, relaxing the muscles completely and totally. Feel that relaxation begin to move into your knees, relaxing the knees, warming them up. Feel it moving into the thigh muscles. Just allowing any tension to just fall away. Feel that relaxation move through your waist, up into your stomach. Relax the stomach muscles. Just let them go. You stay here for just a moment. Any tension you may find in those muscles, just let it relax now. How relaxed can you make your stomach in that whole area? Feel that warm relaxation working its way into all the muscles, all the cells. Just letting them relax. And then feel that relaxation move up into your chest. Relax the chest muscles. Feel your chest opening up. Feel that relaxation moving up into your shoulders. Completely relaxing those shoulder muscles. Feel the relaxation moving down into your arms, past your elbows into your forearms, past your wrists into your hands. All the way down into your fingers, hitting the fingertips and moving back into your hands. Past your wrists into your forearms, past your elbows into your upper arms. All the way back into your shoulders. Feel that relaxation and feel it begin to move up into your neck, relaxing the neck muscles. Feel it moving up into your ears, down into your jaw. Really take a moment and relax the jaw muscles completely and totally. Just relax those muscles. Let them go slack and enjoy that feeling. Just as if your jaw was floating there. Completely and totally relaxed. Any tension just melting away and disappearing. And feel that relaxation move over your lips up into your nose and as you breathe through your nose you breathe in calm comfortable relaxation and you can exhale out any tension any stresses or worries and feel that relaxation begin to move up into your eyes and your eyelids and really feel that relaxation moving deep into the muscles of the eyes and it's raining deep into those muscles so they can just relax completely and totally. And now feel that relaxation moving up into your eyebrows, up into your forehead, down over your face. Stay here for a moment and completely and totally relax the muscles of your face. Just let them go. How relaxed can you make those muscles right now? And feel that relaxation moving over the top of your head, moving down the back of your head, all the way down the back of your neck. Feel that relaxation moving 
deep into the muscles of the neck, moving deep into the muscles of the shoulders, penetrating deep into those muscles and relaxing them completely and totally. Any tension just falling away, melting away, as you feel that relaxation continue into your back, moving down your spine. As that relaxation moves down your spine one vertebrae at a time, all the muscles in your back just relax and let go. And you can feel your muscles just letting go and you feel yourself relaxing, feeling heavier, sinking down deeper and deeper, the more relaxed you become. And as that relaxation moves all the way to your base of your spine, all the way down past the back of your legs, all the way down to your feet and toes. You can take a moment and notice how quickly you can change how you feel just by relaxing your body. Just letting go of the tension physically, relaxing and letting go. Now sometimes you can relax the muscles and they may tighten up again and that's okay. All you need to do is recognize that and then just let those muscles relax again. So a part of your subconscious mind is going to be in charge of keeping your muscles relaxed, keeping your body calm, free of any tension so that you can feel yourself sinking down deeper. And you can enjoy this heavy, relaxed feeling. Now connect to your breathing. You don't have to take deep breaths. But you want to take more full breaths so that you're oxygenating your body. And allowing yourself to exhale out any tension. And allow yourself to inhale all the relaxation that you want to experience within your body to feel it completely and totally moving through you so that you get comfortable and accustomed to feeling completely and totally relaxed. As your body continues to sink deeper and deeper into the state of relaxation, you may feel your mind quieting down naturally. And at any moment in time, if you feel the urge to fall asleep, you can allow yourself to fall asleep, knowing that your subconscious mind is going to receive suggestions that are going to orient it to make you a luckier person. Because so much of luck is a combination of relaxation and awareness. of recognizing the luck that's all around you, the opportunities and situations that can benefit you so greatly surround you constantly, each and every day. And the more relaxed you become, the more well rested you feel, the luckier it tends to be for you because you're able to see those opportunities. You're able to recognize. And these things naturally come into your awareness. Opportunities to move forward in your life in so many different ways surround you. And as you let go of the old and you relax into the new you begin to see, hear, and feel these opportunities day in and day out, naturally. And sometimes it may feel as if your intuition is speaking to you. To notice something little that ends up being something so big that it may even be life-changing for you. To open yourself up to the abundance that's around you. And you begin that process by relaxing. 
by letting go of any tension and allowing the good stuff to come in, clearing way for luck to enter your body. And it all starts with just letting go and being able to fall asleep so quickly because you can relax your body. You can let go of any stresses or worries right now because you're in your safe place where you can relax, you can be calm. No one can disturb you. You're just in this safe, comfortable place. And the more familiar this feeling becomes to you, the more you get used to this feeling of being calm and relaxed, the luckier you become. Because as your mind settles down, you're able to see the opportunities that are all around you. As your body relaxes, you train it to open up and to feel all the luck that surrounds you. To be able to move through life relaxed and calm, even in challenging situations. When you're the one who's relaxed and calm, in a challenging situation, you are able to see things that you can't see when you're stressed. And this ability to see other things is what other people may call luck. Because you are able to stay relaxed and calm, you can see things more clearly. You can identify opportunities Good things can happen to you because you're open to them physically, mentally, and emotionally. And you're subconsciously orienting to becoming a luckier person because you understand that so much of luck is just being aware in the present moment to see things for what they are, to be free of worry and inner turmoil opens you up to becoming luckier immediately because you're interacting with the real world which is full of opportunity and abundance chances for you to move forward in meaningful ways in your life and relaxing is the start of it to relax your body and to move into the present moment where you connect with your breathing, you connect with your relaxation. And when you can move into the present moment, you instantly become luckier because you connect with your reality. You see it for what it is. And once you've done that, you can identify opportunities that you may have otherwise missed. And being lucky becomes part of your personality. As you begin to relax more, sleep more soundly, wake up more refreshed, you feel like a different person. You feel like a person where everything works out for you. A person who's surrounded by abundance, who expects it. Because so much of luck is being in the right place at the right time. And the more relaxed and calm you are, the more you connect with your true reality. And you're able to see and feel all the abundance that's around you. You're able to see things that others aren't. And sometimes you may not know why. It may just feel like your intuition. But each and every day you become luckier because you believe 
that you're luckier. You begin to remember times in your life when you were lucky, when you spontaneously found something that was so exciting and helpful for you. And you begin to notice these moments happening more and more. And as you think about areas of your life that you wish to be luckier in, you begin to envision yourself having luck in all those areas. What would it feel like? What would it look like? How does it feel to be a lucky person? How would you know you were lucky? And as your subconscious mind answers those questions, you're simultaneously programming yourself to become more lucky. To become a luckier person is to relax and come into the present moment, to live from that place naturally allowing yourself to see things that you can't see when you're tense. And to others, this looks like complete luck. And it feels lucky to you, but you understand how you made it happen. You relaxed, which allowed you to use all of your resources. And the more resources you can use, the more of yourself you become the luckier you feel, the luckier you are. As things start to just go your way, big things, small things, you get luckier and luckier each and every day. It starts to feel like life is supporting you and working with you because it is. And sometimes there are challenges but you relax into those challenges. You take them on from a calm, clear perspective. And that makes all the difference in the world. Because when you're calm and relaxed when dealing with a challenge, you're able to access more of your resources. Your brain works at a higher level. You can find solutions faster. And all of these things feel like luck. And before you knew it, you find yourself being luckier than you've ever been in your entire life. And it just happens naturally and automatically. And you know you created this luck by relaxing and opening yourself up to the present reality to spend more time in the present moment, in the here and now, connected to it. And as you do that, you start to recognize more of reality. You feel more of it. You see more of it. And the more you can see, feel, the luckier you become where things start going your way and you start expecting them to go your way. From this place of calm relaxation, you can look back over your life and realize all of the times when you were incredibly lucky. And you start to realize you are not becoming luckier. You are already lucky. And it all starts by building on top of a foundation of gratitude and appreciation for all of the luck that you've had in your life, big and small. Because the luckier you feel, the luckier you become. Things just starting to go your way. And even when they don't, they do because you stay relaxed and calm in the present moment, which allows you to find solutions faster than ever before. 
and other people may begin to notice how much luckier you seem lately. And some of it's because of the new things that are going to happen to you that seem so lucky, but you know why they're happening. And part of it is that you start to realize that you've been lucky your entire life. You begin to speak as a lucky person. You begin to feel like a lucky person. You begin to know that you're a lucky person and you can look over your life and see all those examples of times when you were so lucky. And sometimes it was big luck, sometimes it was little luck, but you've been so lucky in your life. And as your subconscious mind reflects on all of those instances of being so lucky, it begins to project into the future that that luck is going to continue and expand. And it's going to expand for two very big reasons. The first one is that you're getting better and better at relaxing and bringing yourself into the present moment so you can see the present moment clearly. Because when you can see it clearly, you can see more options. And you can choose the one that gives you the best result. And that ability feels a lot like luck. And to other people, it will look like luck. But you're going to understand that it's just because you're able to relax your body and your mind and bring yourself into the present moment so that you can use your mind to identify opportunities that are right there in front of you. You begin to see them. It's like getting a new set of glasses where you can see crystal clear where before it was blurry. And as that new reality clarifies right before you, you are able to see opportunities that others miss opportunities that you may have missed when you were tense and looking at the past or living in the future. As you bring your mindset into the here and now, you can see things that most people cannot see. And it looks a lot like luck. The other reason you're going to become so much luckier within your life is that you're going to expect it and accept it and celebrate it. As you reflect on your life, you realize how lucky you've been because sometimes you don't recognize how lucky you are in the moment. Sometimes you need the benefit of hindsight to look back over your life and to see all the times that you were so, so lucky. And as you recognize those times, all the times you've been lucky, you realize that without a doubt, there is no question that you have been very lucky in your life. And just because you've had some challenges doesn't mean that you have not been extremely lucky. So as you identify those moments when you've been so lucky in your life, you realize that you're already lucky. And you begin to define yourself by those moments. And there are probably times when you feel like you've been unlucky, but you begin to let go of those naturally. Everyone has challenges in life to deal with. They make us stronger and they help us grow. So you begin to reframe and think of times when you felt unlucky 
as times that you are allowed to grow into a better version of yourself. Times that helped you build up more resistance and resilience and muscle to thrive in life. So you simultaneously begin to recognize all the times in your life that you were really lucky. And you start to look at the times you thought you were unlucky as times that you got to grow and evolve into a better version of yourself. So as you shift your identity into someone who's very, very lucky, you begin to expect that that luck is going to continue as you move forward. And with that belief in yourself, with that expectation that you're going to be lucky, you begin to add on top of that a calm, relaxed body that can move into the present moment and be aware of all the opportunity that surrounds you. Realizing that there's constantly opportunities passing right in front of you day after day. And as you relax and increase your ability to be in the here and now, you start to recognize much more of those opportunities that are right there in front of you. And you grab them. You grab them and that reinforces your belief in yourself that you are a lucky person. And people may wonder and not understand how you're so lucky. And they may think you were just born that way. And partly that is true. But it's also because you're increasing your skills, the most important skills, by listening to these sessions, you're able to fall asleep quickly and to sleep soundly, to wake up rejuvenated and full of energy. Because when you feel that way, you can see so much more of reality, especially the opportunities that can be life-changing, that can bring your life in a completely different direction the direction you've always wanted it to go in, where everything just seems to work out so easily and so perfectly. It can almost look like magic and it can feel like magic. And that feels really nice. Because as you feel this, as you enjoy this relaxation, You allow your luck to bubble up to the surface, knowing that you define yourself as a lucky person. And the more you believe in your luck, the luckier you become. Little things, big things. You identify as a lucky person and that expectation turns into more lucky experiences and things just start to work smoothly for you. Part of this is because you're surrounded by opportunities to grow and improve and to create the life that you want. And part of this is because you learn to master the ability of relaxation, to be able to just let go, to move into the present moment, to see things as they are gives you an advantage, an advantage to be able to see all of the opportunities in front of you. And the more opportunities you see, the luckier you feel, the luckier you become. And it all starts right now. It all starts by just connecting to your breathing, Allowing your body to relax completely and totally. Just enjoying that feeling. And allowing your mind to remember all the times in your life that you've been lucky. Big times, small times. 
This is why gratitude is so important. Because the more grateful you are for all the things you do have in your life, all the luck that you have had, the more your subconscious mind begins to orient to those things, the more of them it creates. Allowing yourself to feel luckier each and every day. Expecting that things are going to go easy, that they're going to go your way. Realizing that when things don't go your way, when challenges come, that does not mean that you're not lucky. It just means that this is a situation that's going to allow you to grow and evolve into a better version of yourself. And you begin to see the world differently. By listening to this session, you begin to program your subconscious mind to live within a different reality. A reality where you're luckier than you've ever been in your life. Where you expect things to work for you. Things naturally just go your way most of the time. Not all the time. Sometimes there are challenges that we need in order to hit the next level. But overall, you find yourself being extremely lucky. And you recognize it as such. You begin to feel deep within yourself that you're a lucky person. And you know that's true because you can look around in your life and find constant evidence of being lucky. Situations that you were so lucky in. And as you embrace that sense of luck, as you hold on to that identity of being a lucky person, you become even luckier. Feeling as if the world is just rolling out the red carpet for you. You recognize that luck is within you. And sometimes you become the luckiest when you begin to appreciate your challenges. Because challenges do not mean you're not lucky. Sometimes you're lucky to have certain challenges because they help you grow and evolve into a better version of yourself. And you begin to embrace all the different aspects of life. The things that are easy and work out perfectly for you. And the situations where it takes a little bit more effort. And you embrace both of them, understand that they're both necessary for you to reach your true potential as a person. And the ultimate luck is when you can look at challenges in your life and feel lucky to have them even. It only makes your luck muscle stronger. You begin to embrace everything as luck. Of course, you celebrate the fun, easy, exciting things more. But even the challenging things you feel lucky about. You live within an aura of luck. And people won't understand how you do it. They'll think you were just born with it. And they're right in a way. But you expanded it. You made it stronger. By increasing your ability to relax, to let go, to make room for the good things in life to enter, to be living in the here and now, where you're connected with reality and you can see right in front of you all the opportunities that are there. Just by relaxing and letting go of your old worldview and connecting to a new worldview where you expect things to work out for you. You expect to be lucky. You expect to win. And you also expect to be challenged and to grow. All of these things make you feel like one of the luckiest people on earth. 
and it feels so nice to live this way. And you can allow this new identity, these new expectations, these new feelings to soak deep into your body. Moving into every nerve, cell, and fiber of your being. And it can feel so good to realize that you've been lucky the whole time. And that the challenges you've dealt with were even lucky. Because you were able to become a better version of yourself by working through them. And that feeling can be so nice to live within that sense of gratitude and luck. Knowing that everything's going to work out for you. You become more optimistic and hopeful. As you anticipate a future that gives you everything that you need and desire in your life. And you don't know where this luck comes from, but you do know how to manifest it. And you do that by relaxing, moving into the present moment, seeing things for what they are, being able to see the full picture. And the more you begin to live this way, the better it feels and the more luck you experience little things big things things start working out for you and it's so fun and exciting when that happens you find yourself getting on wind streaks where everything just seems to work out everything just seems to go right and that feels so nice you begin to feel as if life's supporting you. Even when it's not, even when there's challenges, you know they're there for a reason and you feel lucky to have them. And you realize that you're in control of how much luck you feel. And you're in control of how you define luck. So your subconscious mind thinks of things that you would like to be luckier with. You can allow your body to absorb all of that and to begin finding opportunities and situations. Start strategizing and bringing into your awareness the things you need to be as lucky as you possibly can be. Expecting that things are going to work out for you. And as you continue to breathe and listen to my voice, just allow yourself to absorb all of these suggestions. Allow your transformation of how you define luck to happen within your mind and within your body. And you know what goes hand in hand with luck is a state of calm relaxation. You can literally become the epitome of happy-go-lucky by just relaxing and feeling grateful for every moment of your life, for every situation that you experience, so that you can become the person who you were meant to be. And as you open yourself up to this reality, a reality where you naturally feel so much luckier and things naturally tend to just work out for you in the perfect way. You relax and allow that new identity to move into you, to relax you even deeper. And you expect and anticipate that each and every day something lucky is going to happen to you. And sometimes it's big and sometimes it's small. But you become a magnet for lucky things. You expect and accept that. You enjoy the lucky things no matter how small they are. You don't judge them. You don't only look for bigger ones. Anything lucky that happens to you, you identify and you accept it. And you use it to reinforce this identity of yours that you're a lucky person 
because you know you are lucky. The people you have in your life, the things you have, the experiences you've had. Of course, there's been challenges, but there's also been a lot of lucky things happen along the way. And the more you identify to those lucky things, the more you recognize them and connect to them, the more lucky things will happen to you. It's the natural way of things. So as you relax and expand your awareness, as you allow your brain and mind to operate on all cylinders, your subconscious mind begins to seek out more situations where you will be lucky. It begins to see more of reality so that you can naturally and easily make decisions and choices where you end up being a lot luckier than you've ever felt in your entire life. And connect back into your body. Relax all those muscles especially your stomach area. Relax those muscles completely and totally. Feel that relaxation move up in your chest. Relax your shoulders. Feel yourself becoming heavier. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyes and eyelids. And it's from this place that you tap into the deepest, deepest luck that you can experience. Because by quieting down your body, making your mind more still, you open yourself up to more information. You open yourself up to more possibilities of what can happen and what kind of life you can lead. And it truly does begin by reflecting on your life and recognizing that you're already a lucky person. And as you begin to develop your relaxation, as you learn how to fall asleep quickly and to sleep more soundly, you get used to waking up with an abundance of energy and that abundance of energy is extremely helpful in making you a luckier person. So you begin to honor this part of you. You begin to get the rest that you need, the relaxation that your body and mind desire and crave so deeply. And as you do that, as you get used to living this way, you define yourself as a lucky person who things just work out for. It's like you're just skipping and floating through life, making the proper decisions day in and day out. And while it looks magical on the outside and feels magical on the inside, you know that you create this with a very easy system of relaxing and living in the present moment so that you can see all the opportunities that are around you. And by identifying and expecting that you are a lucky person, that each and every day something lucky is going to happen to you. Sometimes it's big and sometimes it's small, but you're surrounded by luck. You live within a luck vortex and you manifest and create that by making yourself a better person, by learning how to effectively relax your body, to be able to quiet your mind, to program your subconscious mind to make you luckier, to be able to imagine exactly what that luck is going to look like and feel like. Allowing your subconscious mind right now to imagine situations where you would like to experience that luck the most. 
feeling that luck. Experiencing the benefits of that luck. Just floating through life, everything working out for you. And sometimes you have to work hard for your luck. But sometimes the luck just happens naturally and easily. As your subconscious mind thinks of different situations in your life where you would like to experience more luck, your subconscious mind begins to project into the future what that luck is going to look like and feel like. Different scenarios where you want that luck to play out. How it'll feel, how you expect it to go. You begin to reprogram your mind. You begin to speak differently. You begin to speak as someone who expects to be lucky, who's anticipating it. It's an inside out transformation. Where you allow yourself to be the person who you want to be truly. Seeing and feeling yourself being luckier than ever before in all the different areas of life that matter to you the most. And you connect to that feeling of luck. The physiology of luck, how it feels to breathe the way you feel when you're completely and totally lucky, when you reflect on your life and things worked out for you, you connect to that feeling and you expect more of it. And your subconscious mind right at this moment is orienting around luck. In whatever ways that you know you have to take to make that happen, your subconscious mind can do that right now. And you can feel that luck moving into every cell of your being. You begin to vibrate at a different level, at a different frequency. The frequency of luck You'll see yourself and feel yourself being luckier when you wake up. And that luck will build on top of itself each and every time you listen to this session. You program your subconscious mind to become luckier, to make you a luckier person. So that you can have more of what you want in your life. You expect it. And it happens. And each and every time you get lucky, it reinforces your belief. And the more you believe in your luck, the more luck you experience. And the more luck you experience, the more you believe that you are a lucky person. And the more you believe you're a lucky person, the more luck you experience. And on and on and on. And you begin to notice little things that you were lucky with as well. And that quickly lets you know that you are surrounded by luck. You are surrounded by opportunity. And you let that awareness sink deep into the cells of your body. Spreading throughout your entire body so that every single cell in your body vibrates at the frequency of luck. And that vibration transforms your reality so that you magnetize, that you attract all the luck that you'd ever want in your life. And you do it by relaxing living in the here and now so that you can see all of the situation believing that you're lucky expecting that you're going to experience luckier things as you move forward through your life beginning to define yourself as a lucky person 
And you can hold on to that belief because you can look over your life and see so many situations where you were incredibly lucky. And sometimes during those times when you now feel incredibly lucky to have had them, you may not have felt lucky at the moment. But now you can appreciate that your life has been full of luck and will continue to be so. The only difference is that you're going to experience even more luck now because you're programming your subconscious mind to find opportunities to feel even luckier. And it can feel like magic when reality starts to expand this way and you find lucky things happening to you over and over. And sometimes it's out of the blue and sometimes it's something you've been working at. But to begin to move through life feeling lucky is what you do. And the more you believe in it, the more you anticipate it, the more it happens. And you know that you're making yourself luckier because you're tapping into your inner wisdom. You're tapping into your intuition when you relax your body. When you learn to quiet your mind, you're able to step into the present moment. You're able to be the best version of you. And the best version of you is very lucky. You can look over your life and see that. All the times when you got so lucky and some of those times you didn't realize how lucky you were in the moment. But you've been lucky and you're going to continue to be even more lucky as you move forward. And that can feel so nice to live that way. It's fun. It's interesting. It's exciting to not know what's coming next. But to believe in your heart that it's going to be something good. You become eternally optimistic. And that optimism looks like luck to other people. But you understand the ingredients of luck. You understand it's being able to relax your body and quiet your mind. To be able to live in the here and now, the present moment in a mindful way. Because when you do that, you have more brain power to become aware of what your reality is. And when you see things as they are, it's much easier to make the right choice. And you expect and anticipate that you're going to make the right choices and that lucky things are going to happen to you spontaneously. You live a life of luck. And as you reflect over your life, you realize that all the lucky things that have happened to you, and that's going to continue as you move forward. Even when challenges happen, you can begin to look at them as if you were lucky because you are. And the better you sleep and the more relaxed you become, the easier it is to wake up feeling calm, rested, refreshed, ready to take on the day ready to be lucky, ready for the universe and the world to work with you rather than against you. Because at any moment in time, there's always things working against you, but there's simultaneously always things working for you. And the more you orient yourself to those things, the luckier you become, the luckier you feel. You allow yourself to tap into that wisdom within you. It can feel so nice to let yourself live as the lucky person who you are. 